Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, another video for you guys dealing with MDT 2013 and Windows 8.1 and Office. Uh, I think the last video that I did for you guys was uh, I show you guys how to import Office 2013 within your MDT 2013, and uh, we configured uh, the XML file, which is like an answer, like an answer file for Office to deploy seamlessly with you even clicking on anything. So the next thing is if you want to take your XML file to the next level, which is the OCT tools that Microsoft provides, you, which OCT actually stands for Office Customization Tools. Uh, and MDT actually gives you a easy way to do that stuff. So let's get started. So if you guys have been following me on the first one, we already have the application of Office 2013. So let's get inside that folder. And we're going to double click on our Office 2013 application and we need to go into the Office products. Now before we do anything with the Office products, let's go into details and we need to erase this. Because when you guys are using the OCT tools, you don't really need uh, any parameters for this setup to work. I'm going to explain a little later. So we're going to apply, we're going to hit apply, let's go into Office products and we want to do a office customization tool now this is what the warning gives you when you click on office customization toolbox uh, it gives you when done configuring the MSP save it to the save it to this particular folder which is the updates directory so that office set, so that office setup can find it now this is why I erased those parameters with the setup.exe file in the command line because when your deployment is happening office will automatically go inside this folder and whatever is inside there will automatically push it out okay so we're gonna press ok and you can get this nice little awesome dialog box popping up and this is Microsoft Office customization tool uh, yes we want to customize the file for the following office 2013 standard 32-bit press ok and this is where you go in and just go at it customize it to the way you want it now I can't really tell you guys what to do what's best what's best practices it really depends on your environment and it really depends on your IT director or IT manager whomever is doing this is giving you the 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 task to do this it really depends on what they want to push out to the users on the floor but what I could tell you is the first thing you need to do is Installation location and file by default it's going to drop it into this particular uh, location. If you want to change it, go for it. I will keep it just the default. Organization name, as always, be the name of your company. Uh, additional network services, I don't even deal with that. Licensing, this is another one that I kind of tell you this is you need to do right away. Uh, you can either use the KMS uh, key management server, which I actually created videos for you guys on how to do that, so go check that out. If not, if you have a MAK product key, enter the MAK uh, product key there. Uh, and again, this is just like the custom uh, config.xml file. We, I, I normally like to do basic. Uh, I like to complete notice. It tells me that it's done. Don't really want that because again, if you if it tells you it's completely done, that means you got to go in and click OK for it to continue. Don't want that. Uh, and no cancel. The no cancel approach is pretty good. The reason why it's pretty good is because if you're deploying something and you have users that think it's already done, they click on cancel and it cancels the application. Uh, it's really up to you. I'm not gonna pick it. Uh, once that's done, this this don't really, this doesn't really matter because it's a new deployment, so you shouldn't have any Office 2000, you know, Office 2000 anything on the machine. Uh, this is it's just so much to go over guys you actually got to get in there and get your hands dirty if you need to configure each individual application and anything I believe you go into modify user settings and this is where you go enable disable things lock down things and once you're done you're gonna go to file go to save as and again make sure you save it inside that updates folder now the updates folder is actually located inside the office 2013 uh, folder uh, so we're going to go to computers and we're going to the C drive and we're going to go to the deployment share and applications office 2013 
and updates and we're gonna save it there we're gonna do a config we're gonna call it just config and hit save and it's gonna create your MSP file and that's it guys that is it you're done and uh, we're gonna close this up yes we want to quit we're gonna press OK we're gonna make sure we're gonna right click our deployment update our deployment share click on next click on next and that's it guys that is how you use the office customization tool and that's it guys <laughs> I can't really tell you what's wrong what's good during the the customization um, part of office 2013 the reason why is because it really depends on your environment if you guys have any questions or comments leave it at the bottom of the comment and don't forget about hitting that like button because that like button helps me a lot I love those thumbs and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one peace out